All right, so, you know, in the winner's finals, um, I think the first game, um, MFA was was definitely in control, but Kamase was able to make the adjustment and was able to make their way in and get some of those louder combos and get some of those combos that Mario is so known for. And we're seeing, you know, for now, MFA is able to take advantage of those Pikmin and just keep Mario at bay for now, but once Mario works their way in, watch out. But right now, MFA doing a decent job, but here we go. Just Mario lands that forward smash. Just, just trying to work their way in with the fireball. MFA answers the back air. We saw the cape come out. Might be trying to look for a bit of a reversal on MFA. Short hat back air from Gamase. Trying to work their way in. Lands the back air there, but... MFA is still, just still constantly throwing these Pikmin. That neutral air and runs up, gets the up smash. Tries to the back air off the side platform. Oh, wow. Down smash from MFA. Kamase makes it back to stage. Up air. Back air from Kamase. Trying to get the fireball. Does connect with one. MFA able to make it back to stage. Regrabs, regrabs ledge. Regrabs again. Trying to mix up the recovery. And that up smash will just power through the down air of MFA. Kamase will take the first stock. And then that MFA takes it right back with their own up smash. All right. Uh, Kamase looking for the approach with the, with the tornado. Lands a neutral air. Just... This Mario just staying mobile, just looking, looking for that short hop back air. Just start those combos along with the fireball. Connects to the fireball there, but still getting hit by the yellow Pikmin. Great use of fireball. Gets a jab one, two, three. Back air. Trying to hold, trying to hold center stage. Gets that blue Pikmin off of them. Back air from, from MFA. Again, two hits with the purple Pikmin. Two purple Pikmin out for MFA right now. Doing heavy damage. Down air from MFA. Up air. Oh my, just back and forth between these two. Pretty much, pretty much even percentages right now. Lance Flood. Jab one, two. And that back air, not enough to take the stock. Does get Gamase off stage. And then Reed's... Reads the recovery, gets gets the down smash, and is not able to make it back. MFA with the slight lead right now. Kamase trying for the up smash. We'll get the up air. Still looking for that up smash because it comes out so cool, so quickly. Back air, still got MFA off stage. Lands the lands the neutral air. Again, just up smashing just at least to get the Pikmin off of them. Yellow Pikmin is connecting. Still just fishing for that up smash, Mario is. Parries that back air. Critical parry there by MFA. And there is the up smash. Finally, Gamase is able to land it. Both players on their last stock in this game number one here at Grand Finals. Smash from MFA. Tries for up smash. We trying to read the recovery. Tornado back air. Oh, dash attack. Risky spot for MFA does go high. Back air. Oh, trying for the spike. Does not get it. Good DI from MFA. M MFA's DI has been just so great this entire tournament. Dash attack from MFA. Still lands a purple Pikmin. Purple and red online. And the up air with the purple Pikmin. MFA takes game one. So, good start here for MFA, looking to force the reset. Um, Gamase defeated MFA 3-1 to one in the winner's final to force, Gama uh, to force excuse me, MFA in the losers. And MFA is just looking for the revenge right here in our grand finals.
stage is going to be Smashville for game number two. And here we go. All right, Smashville, smaller stage. I think probably um, this is the stage that um, Gamase was able to make the comeback off of um, comeback in winner's finals. So I think um, Gamase definitely likes the stage for Mario. It's a little bit less room for MFA to operate and throw these Pikmin around. But right now, MFA off to a good start. So up air there from, from Gamase looking to start these ladder combos, but this MFA is just MFA's DI has just been MFA's DI and mashing have just been so so good tonight. All right, whips the up smash. Um, Gamase answers with back air. Up air from MFA. So forward throw and just runs up up smashes. Gamasi tries it again. Still trying, fishing for that up smash. <laughs> Just fishing for it again. Can't blame him. Up smash is so good. Does land the fourth one there. Just misses the back air once again. MFA's DI is so, so good. And is going to stall the recovery. And that's a re grab. And that's going to get punished by Gamase with the forward smash. Takes that first stock. Flood online, but still connects with the purple Pikmin. And back air from MFA will take that stock. And. Maybe a little taunt there. <laughs> All right, so. Um, oh, they clank a B from Gamase. Had not seen that from them pretty much so far. That option out of shield there. Still trying to set up with the fireballs. He's able to get the neutral air. White Pikmin doing uh, damage there. Grab. Forward throw, almost a spike, going very deep for the edge guard, and it almost worked. Gamase barely able to make it back to stage. Back air, still looking for back air. Ground throw, tries for the forward air spike, does not get it. So waits it out, was trying for the up B and just jabbed out of it. MFA, up smash. Has two purple Pikmin online as well as a red. The red does connect. Dash attack from Gamase. Forward air from MFA. Back throw. Looking for the edge guard. Another re another re grab. Gamase not able to punish it. Again, it connects with the purple Pikmin. Reads the roll and Gamase answers with the up smash. All right, Flood online. Yellow Pikmin does connect. This Tornado's out of it. Up throw. Tornado. White Pikmin doing damage on Gamase right now. Trying to get in with the, with the flame, uh, with the fireball. MFA with the forward air. Oh, throws the Pikmin back at MFA. Um, but it does not hit MFA, because I she might have done quite a bit of damage on MFA if, if it did connect. Now, looking for the looking for the spike, MFA answers with the forward air and gets the two-frame down air! What a play by MFA! Bringing them right back into it, and suddenly, just in the span of five seconds, takes a slight lead here, but here comes Gamase coming right back with the ladder combo. Dash, oh, air dodge works out for MFA. Connects with the yellow Pikmin. Just back and forth between these two. Neutral air, back air from MFA. Trying for another two frame with the down air. And the up smash with the purple Pikmin, MFA will take game two.
MFA looking for the reset here. Might be making the adjustments off of Gamase that they were not making when Gamase sent them to losers in the winners' final. So MFA looking for the reset and is one game away from getting that reset. We're awaiting the stage choice here for game number three. Looks like they're going to run it right back to Smashville. So yes, indeed, it's going to be run right back to Smashville for game number three. MFA looking to get the reset in grand finals. Just been absolutely back and forth between these two and both all both these games have been very close but ultimately mfa pulling out the first two games but right now here comes here comes mario gamase like both these players trading blows right now just mfa going down connects the up air as the reverse edge guard and just landing a couple hits with the yellow pikmin jab has a red and a purple Pikmin on line for MFA, but Gamase landing a couple up airs, gets a gets a back air there. Purpose of the top platform dashes in. Gamase answers with the with the forward air MFA down air to up air. Oh, just tries in but gets the jab. Was expecting roll in MFA was. Tries to throw the purple Pikmin. And that purple Pikmin connects below the stage, and Gamase cannot make it back. MFA takes the first stock here. But right away, that up smash will even things right back up. Grab. Ladder combo, but MFA, again, the DI from MFA has been so good all night long. Blue Pikmin, purple, throwing out back. For uh, up air from Gamase, again connects another purple Pikmin, just doing so much damage to the purple Pikmin, trying for the forward air. Oh wow, a ping pong, Mario going around back air from MFA. Two purples online, and lands back air with the purple, and connects again with the purple Pikmin toss. MFA with the stock lead, down tilt. Starts off the ladder combo. Oh my goodness, but MFA answering with that back air. Gamase looking for the spike, does not get it. Trying for that up call out up smash. Waiting for MFA to pursue, maybe a little bit too hard. Back air, trying for cape, cape, uh, cape ledge trump, does not get it. Purple Pikmin once again lands, a, just purple Pikmin just being the story of this match so far. Down smash. Up smash from Gamase. Does connect. Down smash once again. Reads the roll, but up B from Gamase will even up the stocks, but still Gamase at 85 and counting percent with a white Pikmin doing a little bit of damage. Down air from MFA. Has a purple and a red Pikmin online. Back air. Up air combo. So just Gamase at 113% is in up smash territory. Oh, down air from MFA. Trying for the edge guard and gets it. MFA with the grand final reset.
so we have ourselves a reset here in Grand Finals. MFA with a dom- well, I, I, I can't say it's a dominant 3-0, because Gamase played very, very well, but at the same time, MFA, with all the momentum in the world right now, and Gamase had MFA's number in the winner's finals, but right now, got to make some adjustments if they want to take the Lag Spike 39 title here. And the adjustments are going to be made as Gamase is switching to Cloud. Just waiting on the stage choice, and we'll get a and we'll get underway with true finals here at Lag Spike 39. Now, I have not seen Gamase's cloud. Obviously, we've seen Gamase make grand finals here before with Banjo. Um I personally have not seen Gamase's Cloud, so we're gonna see what happens here if this uh, if this character switch pays off for Gamase and um, stage is going to be PS2. Ready? And here we go, true finals. See who takes it: MFA versus Gamase. All right, right away, aggression from Gamase, but MFA seems to be ready for it. Oh, wow, just punishes that up B with the, with the up throw of the Pikmin. Back throw has limit online, tries for the blade beam. MFA is able to get around it. Again, once again, MFA's DIs have been so great all, all night long. Tries for up smash there, but does not connect. Lands back air, and wow, the delay for the from the up, from the down air from MFA. It does not matter as the up smash from Gamase will connect. All right, once again, still throwing Pikmin's. Uh, Gamase will get the cross slash. Up be out of shield again. So so good for Cloud mains. Short hop back air coming out from Sandman. Um, dash attack looking again, limit online. Throws out blade beam high, does not connect. But once again, that up smash does connect. Back air from MFA. At least, at least early on, this, this is paying off. But MFA once again gets a two frame and gets the forward air. The, we the real weakness from Kamase will come in offstage situations as Cloud is not the greatest offstage. And obviously MFA has so many options to recover and so many options to edge guard. All right, Blade Beam thrown out. Might be able to take advantage of the up smash and there it is, MFA's jumping around and that up smash covers quite a bit of ground and comes out pretty quickly. So Gamase with the stock lead here. Looking to work their way in. Limit online again throws out the blade beam and does not connect. Cross slash there. But a little bit of damage with that yellow Pikmin. But lands another purple. Has two purples online. Another up B out of shield. Board air from from um, MFA, this blade beam does connect. Looking for the back air, MFA answers the up air, coming back to stage. Forward air from from Gamase. Still throws out blade beam. Looking for hot back air. Oh, uh, charges up up smash. Looking to end it right there, but is able to get back to stage using the down air to cover the high high attack from MFA. MFA with the spike. Has two purple Pikmin. Back airs. Gamase offstage is able to make it back. Gets get up attack and throws out the up smash. Gamase will take game one.
So, at least in that match, the switch to Cloud is the answer. And let's see if Kamase can continue it and take this lag spike title. I mean, the big the big story of that game one was, you know, Gamase was taking advantage of MFA kind of jumping around, was able to just throw out that up smash and able to connect in a way that Mario was just not able to. Obviously, that large Buster Sword providing a big and relatively quick hitbox for that up smash. And let's see if the MFA has, has the answers. We're going to run right back to PS2. Ready? All right, here we go. All right, starting off in PS2 right away with Red Pikmin tossed. Gamase trying to work their way in, does get the cross slash. Again, great patience from Gamase. Waits for MFA's attack and then answers the up B out of shield. Just any other, um, Gamase just able to just use those, um, use those forward airs just to get the Pikmin off of them. And it's also obviously driving up the limit meter very quickly and that lands that limit cross slash. So, Gomase, once again, starting off pretty strong here, has MFA up to 88%. Throws out Blade Beam. MFA just playing a little bit back. Uh, once again, an unsafe attack from MFA. Gomase answers with the up smash. So, Gomase holding, holding center stage. Looks for the power range again. Okay, MFA making the adjustment there, getting away from that up smash. Blue Pikmin does force out limit, but does shield shield pressure with the with the blade beam. Connects with the purple Pikmin. Connects with another purple Pikmin. Uses blade beam dash attack, and that will take the stock. Up oh, MFA punishes that up B from from Gamase. Gamase able to make it back to stage. You know, Rage Rage Cloud here. Looking to tack on the bonus damage, but is going to take that purple Pikmin. Elf. Just the Pikmin just messing with Cloud right now. Back air, up tilt. But hits again with that purple Pikmin. Get up attack. Tries for up, uh, try, MFA tries for up air, but no, no dice there. But again, gets hit by Pikmin. Kamase still living at 159 right now. Dash attack. MFA trying to work their way back to center stage. There it is. Oh, a little bit of a pursuit. Again, a punish with up the Alshila. MFA with the down air. Kamase burns the limit trying to make the, with the recovery oh the up the the, uh, the up air uh, sorry the forward air clanks with mfa and that but that forward air will take the stock gamase yet to lose a stock here still living at 183 just mfa not able to take the stock off of gamase so far in this game number two limit online once again oh blade beam just misses but it will connect with that cross slash lands another forward air this is all Gamase right now, still living at 198 and still able to make it back to stage. Great recovery on the part of Gamase. Forward air. Wait, tries to read the roll with the down smash. MFA not biting, but MFA still struggling to take the stock. Again, another neutral air for Gamase. And I think Gamas I think MFA was like uh, we're just gonna we're just going to MFA I think was just like let's just go to game three.
So Gamase, they switched to Cloud, working out, and is one win away from a lag spike title. So stage change here, it's going to be Yoshi's story for this game number three. Gamase on tournament points wins this next match, will take the entire tournament. And MFA with the switch to the Doctor. MFA switching to Dr. Mario here for this game number three. Had been playing so well with this Olimar. The entire tournament, but appears to have met their match with the Cloud of Gamase. So we'll see how they play here with this Dr. Mario with their backs against the wall. Gamase wins this and takes the tournament. Here we go. Game number three right away. Very aggressive start by Gamase, but here comes here comes MFA. Lands a couple back airs. Grab. Oh, trying to look for Dr. Tornado off the side of the platform. Both these characters with not great recoveries, but dash attack. Oh, forward air. MFA goes low to get around it. Neutral air. Great use of down smash as a mix up. There's out the pills. Oh, Gamasi was trying for the for the wall jump, but does not get it. Goes too deep and MFA will take that first stock. But again, that tornado is going to get punished with the up smash from Gamase and gets us early spike. That was a critical, critical play by MFA. MFA is barely able to make it back to stage. Tries Dr. Tornado on the, on the, on the ground. Does not work out, but still MFA with a commanding lead after that early, early stock take. Gamase will land that up smash, but still a full stock lead here for MFA. Trying to keep their tournament hopes alive. Back air. Limit online. Up. Neutral air. Throws out blade beam. Does not connect. Ooh. Tries for the up air. With the MFA on that top platform. Back air. Gets another back air. Gets MFA off stage. And tries for the call out forward smash. And that connects. And just like that. We have a game. Gamase trying to end it right here. Big cross slash critical for Gamase to land that there. MFA just not able to get their approaches. Up throw. Oh, able to DI out of it. Oh, whiffs on the cross slash. That might have been finishing touch there. Might have been a better option. But regardless, both these players, very even percentages here. Can go either way. Another blade beam from Cloud. Oh, just misses that forward smash. Does MFA. Kamase has stage control. Tries for down smash and will get back thrown. MFA keeps their tournament hopes alive with the Dr. Mario. I mean, you saw that spike from MFA. That might have been a momentum shift. But we're going to go back to PS2 here, which is a stage that Gamase has definitely been very comfortable with. Um, we're going to see if that momentum can carry on. And MFA with the... Not the Dr. Mario. We have another character switch from MFA, and he's going to go hero here in game number four. And Gamase is switching back to Banjo. So just both these players just switching characters, reacting to each other. So we have a completely different character setup here for this game number four. Gamase going back to the Banjo and Kazooie. And MFA going hero. 
Obviously, we've seen plenty of Gomase's Banjo. I have not seen MFA's Hero, so we'll see what happens here in this game number four. Right away, going to the spell menu. But um, Gamase, when they've been playing Banjo, has just been so good with their projectiles. Both the both the grenade and the eggs. So it's going to be critical for MFA to get bounce here. All right, throws out Wonder Wing. Does not connect, but that Wonder Wing will connect. Oh, MFA grabs the grenade. Tries to... Uh, <laughs> it's fortunate to get back to stage there uh, and... Sorry, the Kafriz just uh, just stops the Wonder Wing, but um, Gamase still has it. MFA grabs the grenade again, tries tries for Zap. Oh, that Wonder Wing will connect there. Gets MFA off stage. MFA, um, Gamase looking for the edge guard here. There is bounce, and now you're probably gonna see MFA be a lot more aggressive here. But that Wonder Wing does not care. Kamase takes the first stock here in this game number four. Throws out whack. Does not connect. Back air from MFA. Tries to go high, but read a high recovery. But once again, the, the grenades and the projectiles proving paying dividends for Kamase. Tries to throw out Wonder Wing high. Does not connect, but that, that grenade will. Looking for Chase. Kamikaze! Oh my goodness! Oh no! Kaboom right off the Angel platform, but that Kamikaze... I... I can't imagine that's what MFA wanted there. Kamase with a full stock lead. Throws out Wonder Wing. Tries for... Tries for Kazap. Does land. At least to cover the recovery. Throws Zap out. Whack! Just MFA going for going for all or nothing here. But Kamase still with a stock to play with here. Gets a little bit of damage back with heal. Trying to work their way in, but those eggs and those and the grenades are are doing so much work for Kamase. A B. Kamase looking for the approach. Had bounce and did not use it because there's just so much pressure from the projectiles. Two more, two more Wonder Wings for Gamase to work with. There's, there's one. MFA will punish with. But that Wonder Wing up high does connect. Tough spot here for MFA. Tries for Zap. MP is a little bit low for Hero. Tr throws out Bang. But again, just such a great option to recover. Down throw, misses, misses the down smash. Good mash from MFA. MFA staying on that top platform. Oh my gosh, with the read to the up smash! Kamase is your champion of Lag Spike 39.